China is reportedly working on its first ever nuclear-powered aircraft carrier nicknamed Type 004. China's navy is already the world's largest numerically, and it has been rapidly modernizing. Adding nuclear-powered carriers to its fleet would be a major step. China has three aircraft carriers, the Liaoning, the indigenously built Shandong, and Fujian. Fujian is approaching operationalization and has impressed experts with its size, but it lacks nuclear propulsion. Nuclear power promises to unlock long-distance travel for the Chinese Navy. That's because nuclear-powered warships don't need to refuel, they are able to operate for 25 years before their spent nuclear fuel needs replacing. China itself has made no secret of its ambitions for a so-called Blue Water Navy to rival the United States and has been pursuing carrier development for several years. Technologies required for nuclear-powered aircraft carriers are different from those needed for conventional aircraft carriers or nuclear-powered submarines, and they demand a long-term and complicated process. The first American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier was USS Enterprise, commissioned in 1961. All of U.S. Navy's current carriers, which are a mix of Nimitz and Ford-class carriers, are nuclear-powered. The introduction of four catapults would allow China to launch more jets at once, matching the capacity of the largest American carriers, like the USS Gerald R. Ford. A nuclear-powered carrier would give China more strategic options in the Indo-Pacific region, allowing it to exert greater influence. It takes several years to build a carrier and bring it into operation, but developing nuclear propulsion for its next generation of warships would eventually give China more power to run advanced systems. The aircraft carrier currently under construction at the Dalian shipyard is touted as a next-generation vessel that will allow fighter jets to be launched from four parts of the flight deck. Nuclear power would give the carrier a top speed of up to 30 knots and help increase the speed at which advanced launch systems for the aircraft could operate. Since 2000, China has orchestrated an incredible naval buildup, utilizing the world's premier shipbuilding industry to add 220 ships to support its foreign policy. The current Fujian's catapults are powered by an electromagnetic system similar to that of the U.S. Navy's Gerald R. Ford-class carriers. This represents a leapfrogging past more conventional steam-powered catapults. The plan will benefit from its experience with operating nuclear-powered submarines if or when it introduces nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, despite the possibility of initial complications regarding logistics and infrastructure. There is a debate about whether such massive floating air bases are the future of modern warfare. Given the latest advances in anti-ship missiles, including those with hypersonic capabilities, satellite mages from 2020 to 2023 have shown the demolition of homes and the construction of water intake infrastructure connected to the reactor site. Contracts for steam generators and turbine pumps have shown pressurized water reactor. Conventionally powered carriers have significant drawbacks. China's carriers, which each displace about 60,000 tons, burn a huge amount of fuel and can empty their onboard fuel tanks within days. This forces its carriers to travel with an accompanying fuel-carrying ship.